Hello mga ka-learners! Kamusta kayo? Today we will learn about Filipino traits and practices that need to be changed for the better. We all agree that Filipinos are worth looking up to. We have so many good traits and characteristics. However, these account for most of the difficulties we experience as well. You will learn about this and more in this lesson. After this lesson, you should be able to identify the Filipino traits and practices that affect our country's growth negatively, tell why these need to be changed, and make other people aware of the changes that have to be made for our country's growth. The Bahala Na Attitude is a Filipino trait that shows carelessness. Oftentimes, we put ourselves in danger and difficult situations because of this. According to F. Landa Hokano, the Bahala Na Attitude, which comes from Bathala Na, or loosely, it's up to God, is only positive that it helps make us strong in times of danger or crisis. It keeps us hopeful no matter what. However, we should not only rely on God, we should do our best as well to reach our goal. Listen to this story. Mang Bert and his wife, Nita, live in Barangay Hayobo. They have five children. One day, their barangay captain told them a big storm was on its way to their place. All the residents of Barangay Hayobo were advised to prepare for the storm. Mang Bert did not heed this advice. He just said, They always say that, but the storm never comes. We'll just cross the bridge when we get there. That night, heavy rains and strong winds ensued. Mangbert and Aling Nita and their children were forced to leave their home before it collapsed. Only then did Mangbert regret not following the barangay captain's advice. Doing so may have saved his property. Mangbert exhibited the manana habit in the story. He delayed doing something he should have done until it was too late. Had he heeded their barangay captain's advice, he and his family could have been spared from suffering. Look at this illustration. From this, you can see unfinished projects. What Filipino mentality does this picture show? Have you seen kogon grass? Did you know that kogon grass burns very easily? It is easily extinguished as well. Have you ever heard the term ningas kogon before? What do you think this means? The term ningas kogon refers to the habit of starting a project without finishing it. Kogon is a grass that cannot sustain a flame. Meanwhile, a person who exhibits amor propio is too proud to seek someone else's help even if he or she badly needs it. He or she does not want to be indebted to someone no matter what. Listen to this dialogue. John, René, is that you? We haven't seen each other for a long time, René. Oh, yes. John, where do you work now? Rene, that's the problem. I'm unemployed at the moment. John, finding a job is so difficult nowadays. I've been job hunting for many months already, but I can't seem to get hired. I don't know anyone influential to recommend me. Rene, is that how someone gets a job nowadays? The practice shown in the comic strip is referred to as the Padrino system. It is the practice of being accepted to a job in a school or in a social circle based on who you know or are related to. Let's remember, the Bahala Na Attitude refers to a person's lack of initiative and perseverance in doing a certain task. The Manana Habit refers to the habit of putting aside for some other time things or tasks that need to be done at once. The Ningas Kogon mentality refers to being enthusiastic about one's task only in the beginning and losing interest towards the end. The Padrino system is the practice of depending on someone influential to get into a certain job or institution. The Filipinos have many admirable traits that they should be proud of. That's the end of our lesson on Filipino traits and practices that need to be changed for the better. With this, we hope to be more mindful when it comes to relating with our fellow men. Kung gusto niyong malinawan pa, huwag magatubiling mag-login sa inyong online account. Marami pang matututunan doon! See you on the next episode!